In this video, we are going to go over the internal anatomy of a leaf. Within the leaf, like in all other plant organs, there are three types of tissue, dermal, ground, and vascular tissue. If we take a cross section across the leaf, we will find the outer layer consists of the epidermis. This is the dermal tissue. The epidermis is found on both the upper and lower surfaces of the leaf, and are called the lower and upper epidermis. The epidermis secretes a thick cuticle layer which acts in protecting the leaf from drying out. The epidermis is spotted with stomata. They are found in large numbers on the lower surfaces of the leaf. They are also found in smaller numbers on the upper surface. A single stomate consists of two guard cells and a pore opening called the stoma. The stomata control the flow of carbon dioxide into and oxygen and water out of the leaf. In from the epidermis, the leaf is filled with ground tissue. The top layer consists of elongated palisade parenchyma cells. The cells in this layer are tightly packed cells that have a regular shape and contain large amounts of chloroplasts as they are the main site of photosynthesis. The second layer of ground tissue is the spongy mesophyll. These cells are less uniform in shape. They do contain some chloroplasts, but not as many as the palisade cells. The cells in this layer are loosely arranged and have lots of intercellular space around them. The intercellular space is filled with water and oxygen, which allows for gas exchange to occur between the cells and the air coming in from the stomata and oxygen leaving the leaf. Within the leaf, you also have vascular tissue, which are the veins seen externally on the leaf. The vascular tissue consists of vascular bundles that are enclosed in a bundle sheath. Within the vascular bundles, the xylem is found anterior to the phloem. The xylem is involved in the transport of water from the roots to the leaves, whilst the phloem is involved in the movement of the food products made in the leaves down through the rest of the plant. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, be sure to subscribe for more videos like this one.